how to create a membership site with Thinkific. I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to do to create an amazing membership site. And that's gonna take seven steps. First, what's a membership site? types of membership sites, how to create a membership site with Thinkific step by step, then how much do you charge for your membership site, how do you keep members subscribed, which is the hardest thing and the most important thing for your membership site to be successful, what are the advantages of having a membership site versus selling courses one by one, and finally, an example of a successful membership site by famous author Eckhart Tolle. So, what is a membership site? Well, very simple. It's a site where you charge a recurring amount, typically monthly, to access your content. And the recurring amount is called a subscription. As simple as that. Second, types of membership sites. So the simplest one is where you create a course, a single course, and you charge a recurring fee for it. Now, for your students to have an incentive to keep renewing their subscription, you have to make sure that you keep updating this course regularly. So the second option, instead of one course, is to have several courses in a bundle. So the moment that they join, they have access to not one course, but five 10 courses. Another option for a membership site is just to offer a community like a Facebook group. Or you could provide access to a bunch of articles or guides, or you could have live sessions and live streams and live classes, or access to a bunch of expert interviews. Now, the most typical one and the one I'm going to show you how to do with Thinkific is having a course bundle, so a bunch of courses plus a community. But a membership site is as good as the value that you provide. So this will be the bare bones type of membership site, but you could obviously add all the other elements and provide even more value for your subscribers. Now, let me show you how you create a membership site with Thinkific. And I'm gonna show you the two models. One is just a single course that you charge a subscription for that course. And, but you're gonna keep updating that course regularly, of course. And the second option is to give your students access to a bundle of courses the moment that they start accessing your membership site. To set up a membership for one of your courses, just click on any of your courses, then click on pricing, and then you can change from one-time payment to subscription slash membership. Now, in order to be able to add a subscription or membership, you have to make sure that you are on the Pro plan, which at this time is $79 a month if you pay annually, or $99 a month if you pay monthly. So once you're in the Pro plan, you'll be able to do this. Now you just click on the subscription or membership, you set up your amount per month, let's say $19.99, and you select uh, you pay every month. And you have two other options, whether you offer a free trial period, like 10 days is a good amount of uh, free trial period. And then you can even set a custom first payment, so maybe a discount for the first payments, which could be instead of $10, five. So you have either or, you, know, you either select the free trial period or a discounted first payment. And that's how simple it is to set up your membership site with a single course. Now let's do the same thing, but with a bundle, which is what I'm doing right now and which is the most typical way of offering a membership site. So let's go out and you would go to memberships and bundles. Again, this is only available if you are in the pro subscription for Thinkific and you create a new bundle and you give it a name, create bundle. And for this to work, you obviously need more than one course, at least between five and 10 courses. So add course and then you start selecting courses, add, add another course. Let's say just, I'm gonna add three courses right now. Okay, then you can go to settings, landing page, etc. You can fill in all the details, but the important thing is the pricing. Okay, let's just click uh, pricing. And again, you would go to subscription and membership and enter the values that you want to. One, you charge every month and you could have a free trial period of 10 days. And then you click save and there you go. You have your membership site up and running. You can preview the bundle and this is exactly what people will see when they land on your landing page. Obviously you can add more detail and videos and testimonials to increase conversions. And basically you just launch your membership site. People now click on the subscribe button, enter their details and they charge a monthly fee. Now make sure that before you do this, that you've connected your account to Stripe. And to do that, you go to market and sell, you go to integrations, and you have two types of integrations, Stripe and PayPal, and the memberships work with Stripe. And once you connect to your account, you'll be able to set up your subscriptions. All right, so that takes care of how you create a membership site on Thinkific. But what if you want to offer a community, a Facebook group or something like that? You want to make sure the moment that people subscribe to your membership site, they get a notification with a link to that community. And the way you do that on Thinkific is you go to 
support your students, notifications, and then you have two type of notifications, either for individual courses, where you would go to course welcome email, and then you would select the course that you made into a subscription type of course, and then you click edit on that course, and then you change that message. Or if you create a bundle, which is what I would recommend, just click on that bundle, and then you can customize the welcome email they will get when they join your membership site. And in that email, you can give details about what they are going to get, how much they're going to get charged after the free trial, and of course, a link to your community, whether it's on Discord, Facebook, Slack, or whatever it is. And then once you have that, you click Save, and the moment that they join your membership site, they will get that email and they can join your community. How much should you charge? This is the question of the year or of the month, if you're charging monthly. So how much should you charge for your membership site? Well, it depends on three factors, your authority, your expertise, are you trusted in your industry? Do you have a big audience? The higher your authority, the more you can charge. Then is the market. Is this a competitive market where there's a thousand people trying to do the same thing or a very unique niche market where there are not many competitors, therefore you can charge more. And third, the value that you provide. The more content that you provide for your subscription, the more regular you update your content, the more likely people will be able to stick around and the more you'll be able to charge. Now, to give you a ballpark amount, from my research, you could charge about $1 per month per each 10 hours of content that you offer right up front. You can always keep adding content and you should be adding content on a regular basis and we're gonna discuss that in a little bit. But for example, if you offer 100 hours of content right the moment people subscribe, that would be about $10 a month. Right now, I have about $200 of content for my subscription membership site and I charge $19.99, so $20 a month. To give you an idea, if you have 10 courses that are 10 hours long each, that would be equivalent to 100 hours of content, and therefore you could charge easily $10 a month. But of course it depends on whether your content is niche, you have a lot of authority, and you update it on a regular basis, and you have a strong community, then you could charge even more. So before you start considering starting a membership site, make sure you have a lot of content in advance so people have a reason to start paying on a monthly basis. How do you keep members subscribed? This is the most important thing when you're creating a membership site. People are paying on a recurring basis, so if they don't find enough value, eventually they're going to unsubscribe, and this is called churn. And churn is the death of all recurring models and membership sites, and this is basically why people stick on Netflix or any software as a service business is because they're getting that value on a recurring basis. So it's up to you to give that value, right? to avoid churn. So to avoid churn, you can do several things. You could offer about an hour of content a week, and this is just a benchmark for you to understand that if you generate an hour of content a week, which is completely doable, and you could batch a lot of this content in advance, I mean, you could record eight hours of content in a week and then just release it over the next eight weeks, so you will have content for a couple of months, then you would be able to make sure that people have a reason to keep renewing their subscription because they know every week they will have some new content. By the way, all these recommendations come from who I think is the top guy when it comes down to membership sites. His name is Stu McLaren. I'm not sponsored by him by any means, but I did take his course on membership sites, which is probably the best courses that you can take. And if you type Stu McLaren membership sites, you'll be able to find out that he's helped thousands of people create successful membership sites. And one of the first things he said is that Yes, in order to keep people around, think about one hour of content a week. Obviously, you should offer a community. You could just offer a bundle of courses, but nowadays it's very difficult to offer a community, so you can provide extra support and the community itself can help existing members. So the next thing you should do in order to keep people paying the subscription fee is make sure that they feel that there's support. The community in itself with all the other students can provide a lot of that support. That's why it's great to have a very active community, but to make sure that the community is engaged, you have to make sure that you are on top of it, answering questions and supporting people and making sure that people behave, etc. So in essence, in order to keep people around, you have to add value consistently, regularly. So for the same reason people are paying you a monthly fee, you have to make sure that you're also providing value on a regular basis. Let's dig a bit deeper into each of these three items. So offer one hour of content a week. What could you offer? Well, you could offer new courses, new video tutorials, 
maybe live Zoom classes, expert interviews, more articles and guides. So not everything has to be video per se. It could be articles, audio, any type of content that adds value to the community and any type of content that will help your students achieve whatever you promised they would achieve once they join your membership site. You could also offer podcast episodes that are just specific to your members. So like you could have a free podcast and then some of those special unique podcasts for members only could be offered inside your membership site as well. Second, offering a community. How do you do that? Well, the most typical way is through Facebook groups. The problem with Facebook is that although it's free, there's a lot of noise. It's a social media site, so people could get distracted. Uh, but it's the most typical way of doing that. You could have a Slack channel. I don't use Slack, but I've heard it's great because you could create channels for each of your modules on some of your courses. So let's say that you're teaching how to create online courses. One of the first thing you have to do is market research. You could have a channel specific just for market research or maybe one for marketing or how to launch your course and one just to hang around and socialize, right? So that's the great thing about Slack channel. You can divide your community into specific topics. And Discord is also a very typical software for building communities. It's more for gaming, but you can use it for, for absolutely any kind of other community. Thinkific also offers a community feature for pro accounts. Uh, so the advantage is that although it doesn't have as many features as established community software like Facebook or Slap or Discord, the great thing is that you don't have to use a second piece of software if you're already using Thinkific because the issue with having a community separate to where you're selling your membership site is that when people unsubscribe, now you're going to have to manually unsubscribe people from your community. And if it's already inside Thinkific, the moment they start paying, they don't have access to that community. Of course, you could automate unsubscribing people from, from a community using a tool like Zapier, but it's just more work. Another community software that I found recently, I think is extremely powerful and it's open source, meaning it's free, is called Discord, at discourse.org. And it's free because if you install it yourself on your server, which means you have to have the ability to run your own software and your own server and know how to do that or being able to hire somebody to install it, then it's extremely powerful. It uses a lot of gamification and it's great to keep people engaged in your community. And I've used it recently when I was learning how to create mobile apps without coding. And the community there is very, very engaged and you continuously are getting rewards for contributing to the community and basically be a nice member that provides value on a regular basis. So if you're using WordPress, then there are many plugins that you can use as well, like MemberPress or S2Member. I'm familiar with S2Member because I've been using it for over five years for a website that I own in Spain. It does take quite a bit of development uh, chops in order to be able to use it, but it's worked really well for us as well. And third, in order to keep people around, you need to support your community. And to do that, where well, you're gonna have to answer questions on a regular basis, you could offer one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching on top of your courses and content that you're providing on a regular basis as well. Issue group challenges to make sure that you build that community and everybody works together to a specific goal, like let's say the November challenge where everybody has to build a course in four weeks or run for 10K a day for an entire month or something like that. You could also award your top members to encourage people to keep being engaged and providing value. Of course, to know who your top members are, you need some kind of analytics. So you need to track engagement and Facebook allows you to do that through their engagement analytics. And most community software, there is a way for you to see who are the top contributors. And then to those top contributors, you could give them awards, free merch or swag or bonuses or something to reward their contribution. The last thing you're gonna to have to do in order to keep a community healthy is to, it's pruning, it's basically getting rid of all the unpaying members or members that are not behaving and stuff like that. So it's making sure that the spirit of the community, it stays positive and everybody is as engaged as possible. Now let's compare membership sites versus single course sales. So what most course instructors do, and it's the simplest way to get started, is just to sell courses one by one. Obviously you start with one course and you start charging, let's say $100 for that course. But once you start having a lot of courses, it may make sense for you to charge a recurring fee. But let's see the advantages and disadvantage of each. So membership sites, if they're good, if you have a strong community and you support it and you've done all the steps that I told you before, you should be able to have higher revenue potential per student. So if you were to look at the lifetime value of your average student, 
it's going to be probably higher. Although you're charging less in advance than a, just a single course traditionally. So if you're charging $100 for a course and $20 for your membership site, in order to make the same amount of money, that person will have to stay for five months. But if your community is really good, they may stick for one or two years. And at the end of the day, that single student on a good membership site ends up providing a lot more revenue for your business. The second thing is that if you have a lot of content and a great community, there's going to be a higher perceived value for your students. Because if you're charging $100 for a 10 hour course, but you're charging $20 for one month of access to 10 courses or between 100 and 200 hours of content, it's a bargain, really, right? Because they could try to consume as much of the, that content within a month, which is going to be very unlikely, but the motivation for them to join is going to be higher if they see that for a small amount, they can access a large database of content. So membership sites are great if you already have a lot of content. And also the community becomes a very important asset that on a single course, unless you have a community, it's not going to happen. And eventually, even if you didn't have any courses, the community in itself could be valuable enough for people to pay a monthly fee in order to access the community. The main issue with membership sites is that they're gonna, in general, take more work to maintain because you have to create content on a regular basis, like we said, at least an, an hour of new content a week. And second, because you're gonna to have to be on top of your community to make sure that is thriving and engaged. If you're somebody that doesn't have the time and patience to keep creating content and supporting a community, probably sticking to single core sales is the easiest path for you. And to end, I'm gonna show you an example of a very successful membership site by famous author Eckhart Tolle. And you see that what he offers for $20 a month is pretty much all the things that I mentioned that you should offer to have a successful membership site. So first of all, he offers a lot of content, so an extensive archive of all Eckhart's essential teachings on presence, awakening, quieting the mind, and more, plus 200 hours. You see that he makes an emphasis on the content that he already has that you're going to be able to access immediately the moment you start paying the monthly fee. Then on top of that, he has live Q&A sessions with him where you can ask him questions and engage directly, and this is something members usually love. Then you have access to of course, a Facebook private community, and on top of that, a mobile app. And there is really nice to offer bonuses, like conversations between Eckhart and a bunch of experts. But basically, these are expert interviews that offer a lot of value to your existing members, and they wanna stick around because they wanna see who is gonna be the next amazing person that Eckhart interviews. And another bonus, you also get more meditations and practical tools for applying presence to your everyday life. So as you can see, this is what is called in sales value stacking. You can see you're getting a lot of content for your $20 a month. And on top of that, he offers a free 10 day trial. There is really no risk on you joining for free and getting access to that content. And if you don't like the content, then you can unsubscribe. Uh, so I think this is the, an example of what I would call a perfect membership site. And that's it. That's everything you need to know to create a successful membership site with Thinkific. Click here to learn how to create courses from scratch in Thinkific. I'll cover everything from how to set up your online school all the way to publishing your first course on Thinkific. It's one of my most successful tutorials watched by thousands of people. You learn everything that you need to know to get started with Thinkific. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.